step that he that if he paid without the knowledge or against the will of the debtor he can recover only in so far as the payment has been beneficial to the debtor example chester owed ortez five thousand john a neighbor who wants to pay the obligation of chester Ortiz is not bound to accept the payment of John because he has no interest in the fulfillment of the obligation. John is not guarantor or pledger. A pledger, not a mortgagor. Not unless it, if Ortiz accepted the payment of John, he is without the knowledge of Chester or against his will. Then John can recover on it. 5,000 based on the principle of unjust enrichment. Article 1237. Whoever pays on behalf of the debtor without the knowledge or against the will of the latter cannot compel the creditor to subrogate him in his right, such as those arising from a mortgage, guarantee, or penalty. Example Dick mortgaged his property to Ambo in the amount of 5,000 pesos, Chang, a third person, Pay the whole debt of Dick to Ambo without the knowledge of Dick. He then asked that Ambo assign to him, Chang, a third person, the former writer's mortgage. If Ambo refuses, can Chang compel him? No. Under Article 1237, but if Ambo wants to make the assignment, then Chang can be subordinate to Ambo's right as mortgage. In this case, where the debtor has no knowledge of payment by a third person, and even in cases where the third person paid against the will of the debtor, such payment would produce a debt in favor of the paying third person. In fact, the only consequences for the failure to inform or to get the consent of the debtor are the following. First, the third person can recover only so far as a payment has been beneficial to the debtor. Article 1238 Payment made by a third person who does not intend to be reimbursed by the debtor is deemed to be a donation, which requires the debtor's consent, but the payment is in any case valid as to the creditor who has accepted it. Ella Jean, a classmate of Estelle, paid the latter's obligation to Kael in the amount of 250 pesos. Ella Jean intends that the payment will be her gift to Christelle by virtue of the latter's birthday. Three days ago, Christelle consented to this donation. In this case, the obligation of Christelle is extinguished. Article 1239. In obligations to give, payment made by one who does not have the free disposal of the thing due and capacity to alienate, it shall not be valid without prejudice to the provisions of Article 1427 under the title on natural obligations. As the general rule explains, Payment is not valid, even if accepted, if the person paying has not capacity to give. If the person has no capacity to give, the creditor cannot be compelled to accept the payment and the remedy of consignation cannot be availed of by the person attempting to pay without the capacity to do so. Example for Article 1 to 3 person in whose favor the obligation has been constituted or the successor in the interest or any person authorized to receive it. Meaning of any person authorized to receive it as used in article 1240, it means not any person authorized by the creditor but also a person authorized by law to receive the payment such as guardian or administrator of the estate of deceased and assignee or liquidator of a partnership or corporation as well as any other person who may be authorized to do so by the law. 
तुम पे